In my other repair video, I took the entire dishwasher out and replaced this whole entire drain assembly. In this repair video, I'm just going to replace the motor. So we'll leave the dishwasher in place. So if you buy the whole entire assembly, it looks like this. It's a lot more than if you just buy the motor. And I realized all you need is the motor because that's the part that went bad. All, all of this is fine. So the first step is to take these off. So if you take a look here, there's a locking tab here. So just push down on that and twist the motor in a clockwise motion and take it off. Like so. We're gonna take the rubber washer out of here and, and put it onto our new motor. The first step is to drain any water that's down there below. Turn on the dishwasher, hold down the delicate and normal buttons for about three seconds. And then you'll see a DR here for drain. And then just give it a minute and let all the water drain. I'm going to push on the sides of this wire harness. I'm going to squeeze the sides and pull the harness out. Like so. And then I'm going to push down on this tab here and rotate this clockwise and try to take it off. Uh, but first I'll take these rubber straps off. There's one on the other side. So I'm pushing down on this tab and rotating this clockwise. So this is the motor I put in in my last repair video. So this must have lasted two or three years. I can't remember, but this method so far is much easier than the way I showed in my last video. Here's a new one that we just put the washer on. And I'm just going to put this on the way I took out the old one. So I'm just checking for any debris and it looks fine. So I'm going to point this harness all the way towards the back and then put it on. Actually, it's going to point more in the 10 to 11 o'clock position. And then squeeze the top and bottom down together, like so. And then I'll try to twist this back on. Okay, so it's in the closed position so now we need to put these rubber mounts back on they just snap in not a big deal and then all we have to do is put the harness back on It's clipped in. The repair is basically done now. I'm going to run a load of dishes and check for any leaks. 
if everything looks leak free, I'll put the toe kick back on and the repair will be completely done. Okay, the dishwasher's fixed. It's running and it's quiet now and there's no leaks.